Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. 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 Turn around. Yep. Hello. I'd like to buy some uh, seeds. Thank you very much. Have a good day, sir. Welcome guys to episode 942 of Minecraft and I'm using the Herblaw mod. So most of you know that it's 420 today, the 20th of April, and uh, let's go underground to my hydroponic plant over here, and well, alright, lucky, lucky, that was the first time me testing that out. Well, that was a pretty cool entrance, huh? That was a pretty cool entrance, and whoa! Alright, so here we have some, uh, my hydroponic plant, um, which basically grows marijuana. Now, in the intro scene, you saw me collect some seeds, some toke seeds. I've before planted them down, and uh, I've managed to grow a nice harvest of marijuana, or cannabis. Now, let me collect some of these in, not in creative mode, in uh, survival mode, and uh, collect some <clears throat> delicious hemp and uh, some bud that we may find. Alright, so we've collected and harvested some, and, uh, whoop, where is it? Here it is, ready? 3, 2, 1, BAM! Okay, there we go. Uh, once we've collected some toke buds, now these uh, fall off, uh, kind of like, um, what's a great example of trees and saplings, how uh, a sapling may fall out of a leaf. It, it's not always uh, the case. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Normally the top ones have a bud um, or toke bud. Now what you need to do is take it over to the drying bed and uh, let's talk about the appliances. There are four different types of machinery that you can use or appliances uh, ranging from a pipe all the way to a hooker and in between we have a bong and also a joint. So here we have some dried toke bud and uh, it's very realistic on how what you have to do in real life. So after you've harvested your uh, toke uh, you need to dry it out and this is this drying out point is this phase is probably where you'd buy it from your street dealer or from SR or somewhere along the lines from there. So what you need to do is place it into a grinder because we don't want to uh, mulch on the on the big stuff. We want the fine, refined, chopped up stuff that's very tasty. Now before we smoke anything, I reassure you, you guys have to have a chest full of food before you get the munchies and uh, you want to kill everything. And uh, you should have all your food prepared just like in real life. And also have some milk prepared because some of the effects do get kind of annoying and gives you head spins actually um, because how crazy... Um, it turns out to be in Minecraft. Alright, so here we have, this is my nice hooker destination, we'll try that last. But uh, what we need to do here is we have the grinded toke. Now once we have the grinded toke, we can just throw away the seeds now because that's old torque. We can get the pipe, and the diamond pipe is uh, crafted with a diamond bowl, a stem pipe, and a mouth pipe, which is crafted with sanded wood. And wood is, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of these, uh, it's a, basically a tech tree of crafting recipes, this whole mod, with a wooden plank and also sanding paper. Paper and sanding paper is uh, made with sand and paper so uh, you can go back like this and uh, it's kind of a nice recipe to go along by now these can be altered uh, this can be into what we can say I, I forget the word for it you can have it for every single type of um, ranging from wood to diamond I forget what's that word what's that word where it says um, ranging from um, wood to diamond um, Hmm, I don't know. Uh, and we need to create a filter because we don't want to suck in some of the na nasties. Uh, so we get a block of diamond and that's how you craft a filter. Um, oh, no, it's not. How, how do I get a block of diamond? Um, to craft a filter, you need uh, iron ingots. That would make a lot more sense. I was like, what is what is happening? <laughs> All right, so once we've done that, uh, we can actually toke um, straight from here. We don't need a packet. It packs it for us. And there we go, we have our first hit of marijuana. You can see we get the munchies effect and also we're a bit high. Now if you keep on uh, actually doing this, um, keep on getting a couple of cones in, you actually feel uh, the green, uh, the vignette actually goes a bit harder and harder and some of the effects increase. And also there'll be some poison later on and uh, some illusion effects if... Um, uh, if you don't have enough food. You can see in my food bar it's going 
terribly down and it's down to uh down two meat points oh, now three meat points uh which is kind of crazy how fast we're going now we're, we're doing a review so we just don't want to stay around here just being high we need to try out every single type of way of getting high so what we need to do is drink some milk milk will definitely get everything away all the effects away and we can uh, safely try on a joint now a joint you drag it back very nice and then you poof and uh, it's gone now the severity of actually crafting this is actually quite Quite interesting a joint is very easily crafted and doesn't give you the biggest effect it gives you one cone piece and then you're gonna it simply disappears so you're gonna have to create another joint for that and the most effective way is by a hooker um, or a bong now they are the most effective ways because you waste the least in real life and in minecraft now we're gonna take a joint and a bong now this is a packed bong and voila, we've took a one pack bong. Now, there are three cones or cone, uh, no, three hits you can take um, in one pack bong. Now, a pack bong is simply looking like a glass cylinder, a glass bowl, and a glass sphere, which is crafted with uh, the appropriate glass uh, sort of crafting formations. The best way to do this is in creative mode, or if you have not enough items, you can use the recipes like I am doing here, because the forum thread does state that the recipes are out of date, and that there's a lot of recipes, so the mod uh, creator doesn't want to be troubled to go through all the recipes again because he made a quite a nice visual on the forum thread but that's outdated so you've got to sort of use your own head and uh, some old techniques now last but not least i think we should uh, take a swig of milk um, before we try the hooker uh, because there are some other munchies that we can try on but here we go um i guess we can have uh, see this is why you need a good assortment uh, i feel like having some chicken nuggets so we just take some chicken nuggets and voila have have some delicious chicken nuggets on, on your on your trip um, so here we have the hooker piece now I guess I'll destroy everything in my inventory and give me some flint and steel because uh, we need to light it uh, and also we need some grinded toke bud and here we go you need that two things in your inventory light it up and you can see the smoke happening from there very nice smoke and now all you need to do is just take a hit and they need to repeat the process as many times as you want. And uh, then you get the high, high munchy munchies. All right. And continue on, continue on. I've actually been doing this for quite some time uh, and trying to find out what's the max level you can go. Um, and the basically ranges um, because there are different effects. You can see the munchies are about to fade away. And um, now we, get, we might get some poison happening. Um, but we're going to be high for five minutes, which is rather a big time. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat some toke cookies and also some toke brownies and nibble on that. And that should give us a hallucinogenic effect. Will it? No, it won't. No. Okay. Okay. Maybe the highness is taking away. Nope. I can't eat it because I'm not hungry. Although I can have some magic shroom powder and that is some form of, uh, no, the toke cookies and brownies were a form of food. Now these guys, uh, some crazy stuff will give you the hallucinogenics. I got that kind of mixed up. So here we go. We can see that slightly hallucinogenic effect. It gets nausea, um, and it's uh, getting worse and worse. So I think I should just take a little sip of milk because I hate that effect in Minecraft. I used to love it when it first came out. I watched it so many times that uh, it just got really annoying. And take a look at this. My infinite water source has been completely corrupted. No. Oh, well. I lost my complete water source. What a sad day. So that pretty much covers the entire Herbler mod. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I know I've missed out on a few here or there crafting recipes, but I've covered the main sort of gist of the mod that you can smoke weed in Minecraft, and uh, I'm not sure who would want to do that. I'm not quite sure on that either. Although it's for the casual user, and I do not condone smoking weed, but uh, if you feel the urge to, please, please do it safely and enjoy 420 on. So as always... Have a nice day, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And the last like ratings for the last video were absolutely amazing. You guys smashed it in like 10 hours, which is kind of crazy. Not 10 hours, early, in like one hour. You guys got 1,000 likes. So that was really awesome. It sort of made my day, because we haven't got 1,000 likes in, in a long while. And, and I'll tell you a secret. My channel is a bit sort of dropping, which is kind of sad to see. And uh, seeing that awesome turnout was really, really uh, enthusiastic. Or oh, bringing bring up my hopes a little bit, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the new intro. I've been playing around with After Effects for quite some time now, and uh, sort of whipped up that something a bit like that. So as always, enjoy 420, and as always, have a nice day.